The other easier way is using the up and down arrow keys. Try that now. That's really easy, right? Say right. Right. Okay, good. Now, just for fun, let's say you wanted to jump an octave. This is in your chart, but I'm going to teach you now because it's one of the easiest shortcuts. Going up and down is the up and down arrow keys, right? Add the control key and go up and down. Ooh, nice. Try it. Control up or control down. Wow. Come on, it's fun. Come on, admit it. <laughs> okay, fun, yes? Good. Now, click that note. Uh, let's say you meant it to be an eighth note. Click the note, make sure the note is blue, but please make sure that you don't have that blue note entry line. If you have the blue note entry line, it's going to put your next note after it. But if it's just highlighted normal, then click A. Done. It's a very easy fix. Try changing that one note that you have to different note values. And I have to have the blue note, I mean the blue Your note has to be blue. My note has to be blue, but without the blue line. Correct. If you have the blue line, then it's going to input incorrectly. And how do I get rid of the blue line again? Escape one time. One time. Or you can escape two times, then click the note again. Um, are we good with changing our note value? Yes. Easy, right? Um, try, have you tried adding a dot yet? Try adding a dot. The dot's down here. Dot. Oh, dot. Um, dot. It probably is, your measure is probably too short for it. Yeah. Oh, that makes a it's lot of sense. Just for fun, try uh, put a note in and then change it to a rest. Just push the rest button. Rest. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. And you go, oh no, I meant that to be a note. Control Z. If you don't know Control Z, it is your absolute best friend mm. in all programs, period. Yeah, it's true. Period. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, try adding an accidental, please. I don't care which one. How do I get the rest? Uh, just click the big rest button right here. Oh, okay. Oh, cool. <laughs> <laughs> um, try adding some obnoxious uh, articulations, please. Make it obnoxiously articulated by clicking all the articulations on us. When your screen looks kind of sort of like mine and your note is obnoxiously articulated, give me a thumbs up. What? When your screen looks kind of like mine when you have, uh, when you have an accidental and articulations on your note, give me a thumbs up. Yeah. 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 Can I talk about transitions? Yeah. I can. Okay. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. My pleasure. That's an acting model. It's an important note. That's the one thing that's still there to me. Like, oh my god. <laughs> like, I it's the easiest thing ever. Really? Ever. Mm -hmm. One step. Okay. So, this is note entry. Now, is this super useful? The entry system, yes. The music that we're making right now, no. So, we're going to go to file. We're going to say goodbye to our crazy piece. Oh. Sorry. Um, go back to treble staff. Wait, we're starting fresh. New, piece? huh? We're just gonna we're walk just away. It. <laughs> <laughs> I hope you weren't too attached to it. If you loved it, then click save. <laughs> you could, but the number of steps it would take to wipe that out, add new instruments, and do other stuff, you might as well just start new. Okay, so it'll delete itself. It'll just sit in the background, and then when you close the program, it'll go away. Okay. Um, go to treble staff. Just treble staff. Okay. Let's keep things simple. Don't change the instrument. Um, this is always unchanged. Uh, let's do 4-4, four, four, why not? No pickup, no tempo, nothing fancy this time. Just want to get to the meat and potatoes. Wait, what? Hold, hold. So, 4-4, four, four. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going fast, I'm sorry. 4-4, four, four, no pickup, no tempo. That okay, is all. that's all I, I'm sorry. I just want to um, that is all. Let's do, just because I am bored with C major, let's do E minor. Find E minor, good luck. <laughs> when you find when you found E minor, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, but make sure that you have the minor keys being selected. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah. Are we good with E minor? Yeah. We all set. Okay, great. Next, and skip this part. Just go straight oh, to finish. Okay. Oh. Sorry. <laughs> um, if you want, if you decide later that you want to go back and add some stuff, try in the open space, right clicking anything anywhere in the open space. Just right click, and you come up with this huge menu of stuff you can add. Um, Adding text is obviously the thing you're going to want to add the most often. Your title Excellent. is here. 
your subtitles there, composer is there. Tempo markings are here. It will attach to the correct place automatically. Um, so that's useful. Um, other stuff that I add often is boxed text, which is under other staff text, box text. In fact, let's do yeah. this. Click in an open space, right click in an open space so you pull up the context menu. Do this along with me. Um, go to text, go to other staff text, go to boxed text. You should have disappeared, you should get this funky looking cursor, yes? Yeah. Say yes. 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 Okay, good. Click somewhere and you'll get a cursor. Yes. Type something and then push escape. Oh. Escape. Uh -huh. Because if you push return, here's what's going to happen. It's going to give you another line. So, um, this is good if you want to like give a direction. Like, stop here, for example. Um, is it bad if I did other system text rather than the out section? Let's find out. <laughs> Down here. Um, box six. The short answer is, unless you're doing complicated stuff, no. Um, if you're doing multi-instrument things and you want to get fancy, then it's going to be a problem. Um, right, there's two kinds. Right there are two <laughs> kinds of text. Thank you for pointing that out. I didn't. I didn't think I was going to get into it, but I will. Staff text attaches to one staff only. And when I say attaches, I mean literally. See this little teeny gray gray arrow. Almost everything on the screen here is going to have a little gray arrow pointing somewhere, and that shows where it attaches to. Watch very carefully the gray arrow when I move it. Is jumping to other places. That means that if I change the formatting, it's not going to sit in that same spot. It's going to travel with whatever it's attached to. Uh. <laughs> um. So, okay, fine. Get rid of your text box, click it, and push delete. Now, um, here's your challenge. You're going, well, I could be really evil. I won't. Um, in quarter notes and half notes, unless you're feeling ambitious and you can do something more complicated rhythmically, I want you to put in a four bar melody. Create what? A four bar <laughs> melody. <laughs> Create a four bar melody right now, sixth graders. Um, so you click. If you don't like where that first note is, you can use the down and up to change. Oh, wait, four bar. Sorry. Four bar short of the Sorry, heel there. Yep. When you have a four bar tune of any sort, any shape, any color, any simplicity, just give me a thumbs up so I know we're good. That's four. It's going to be so pretty. And of course I put it in G major even though we said it was going to be E minor. Oh, check this out. You'll like this. Um, just select a bar, by the way, and we're going to need this later. Click in the bar. The Don't click anything in the bar. Just click the bar itself. It'll make the blue box, yes? Yep. Um, hold it, shift, move over to the first bar, and click. Mm -hmm. Then we'll select the whole range. And then walk away. Don't touch the mouse. Don't touch the keyboard. <laughs> if you want to select two random bars for whatever reason, select one, hold control. Uh, just kidding. That's not going to work. Forget that. Um, so for a range, for one bar, it's click. For a range of bars, it's click, shift, click. Um, try highlighting your whole four bar thing once you have a whole four bar thing. Can you go back to go over it one more time? Yeah. I will, yes. I will. Finish your melodies first. When, you, when you're done your melody, give me a thumbs up. Even if it's not the most inspired thing ever. How do you go back to regular cursor? Sorry? How do you go back to regular cursor? Because I keep putting notes in. Uh, escape. Oh. Escape is just what it means. Get, out, get me out of here. You have a green line? Oh, yours giving sense. Um, oh, there. That's the playback line. I think you're actually going to play it. Yes, that's right. Um, you figure out this is the, the, the uh, thing. Um, we'll talk about that in a moment. Pay no, pay, pay no attention to the med behind me. When you've got your melody, let me know. Show me. Okay. Um, so to select, click either the first or the last bar. You can go last to first or first to last. The program doesn't care. Shift click on the other end.